How do you know if a trading bot is going to do well? Or how do you know if it's even going to make money when you run it live? There is no guaranteed way to know if a trading bot is going to make you money, but there is one tool that you can use to test the robustness of a trading bot and have the highest confidence going forward that it's going to perform. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to test trading bots using walk forward optimization, which is critical for performance with live money. I'm also going to show you how to run a walk forward optimization in a platform I use for trading bots called NinjaTrader. Before we get started, hi, my name is Jacob Amaral. I build and code automated trading systems in the futures market to hopefully generate a return for me with my own capital. See the links in the description below if you want to work with me or if you want to learn how to build automated trading bots. All right, so let's talk walk forward optimization. Basically, it's a method in financial modeling or trading systems to test the robustness of a particular trading system. It involves dividing data into in and out of sample periods to test them for robustness. You train the model with in sample data and then you test on the out of sample data to see if it can perform with the new data. This process is repeated multiple times depending on how long you want to run the walk forward optimization. The out of sample data for one iteration becomes in sample data for the next iteration and so on and so forth. The critical idea behind walk forward optimization is to simulate real life trading. In real life, when you're trading a automated trading system or a trading bot, it's real time and you get new data. So you want to be able to simulate that as best as possible before running it live to give you some confidence that it's going to perform with the new data. Now, walk forward optimization is available in a lot of platforms. I personally use NinjaTrader to run my automated trading systems and NinjaTrader is hooked up to my interactive brokers account where my actual money is and it trades through that. Now, like I said, a lot of platforms do support it. So TradeStation, MultiCharts, QuantConnect are all platforms that support walk forward optimization. So it's not, you know, strictly NinjaTrader. It's a common process in stats and NinjaTrader is the platform I use. But once again, it's supported in a bunch of other platforms and you should be using walk forward optimization and analysis for pretty much any trading system you build. It's one of the critical steps to build and create trading bots. Now I'm going to show you how to run a walk forward optimization with my gap reversal strategy. You can get this free trading algo in the description below by joining my algo trading tips newsletter. And we'll use that to actually run the walk forward optimization to see how it performs with the new data. All right. So now we're going to run a walk forward optimization with my gap reversal strategy in the Ninja Trader platform. I'm going to show you what it looks like and how it works. So once again, if you want to get this free trading algo, it's in the description below on my newsletter for algo trading tips. Once you sign up, you'll get access to the code. So let's open up Ninja Trader here. And we'll show you how to run a walk forward optimization, what the user interface looks like and what it looks like to have um, a good, what, what's what most would consider a good out of sample performance. So we have NinjaTrader open here. Now I'm going to go to my code editor in NinjaTrader. So go to new at the top left and then NinjaScript editor. This is going to pull up the source code editor. And then I'm going to open the strategies folder at the right here and select gap reversal. So this, this, this is the code you're going to get when you sign up for the newsletter. Um, and I put the instructions here of what it looks like. So basically the optimization instructions are, I'll zoom in a bit, profit target, minimum 1000, maximum 3000 increment by 500, gap down amount, min one, max two increment by one, and then gap up min 0 0.5, max one increment by 0 0.5. One optimization at the last trading day of the year. Optimization period is 730 days and the test period is 365 days. Optimize on max net profit. So NinjaTrader, the platform I use to back test and run automated trading systems has built in walk forward optimization. And you can tell strategies uh, basically based on their parameters that you set, which uh, variables AKA parameters to optimize. And once again, a, a lot of other platforms do this. So you'll find this commonly with a lot of um, automated trading systems platforms. So that's great. Now let's actually run this. So to run a walk forward optimization in NinjaTrader, you go to new and then you go to strategy analyzer, which is sort of their back testing tool. Um, but you can do more than back testing. So we'll open that up. And then at the top right, we're going to select our gap reversal strategy. All right. And then you're going to change the back test type to walk forward optimization. 
And then what you'll see after you do that is a lot of the parameters will now have semicolons uh, inside them. And then when you expand them, you can see the min, max, and increment. Okay. So let's follow the instructions in the code here. Um, so profit target 1,000 to 3,000 increment by 500. So I'll do 1,000 is the minimum, max is 3,000, and then we're going to increment by 500. And then for gap down, I believe it was one, two increment by one. Let's see. Yeah, gap down one, two, one, and then gap up is 0 0.5, one, 0 0.5. Okay. And then we're running this on ES Futures 10 minute bards works with NQ2. Okay, so let's run it with both. So for instrument, you could run ES individually and NQ individually. I have a list here for both of them. So I have this list NQ and ES, so I'll hit select all. I'll do 10 minute bars. And then the trading hours was US equities RTH, which is 9.30 to 4 p.m. Eastern or normal stock market hours. Let me double check the, uh, yeah, US equities RTH real time hours, okay. Okay, so we have our instrument set up, our time set up, our time frame set up, our parameters set up. And now we got to do optimization period of 730 days and test period of 365. So I'm going to scroll down on the right here under the optimize menu. Optimization period 730, test period 365. And we're optimizing on max net profit. So you can choose the goal, what you want to optimize on, right? It could be max net profit. It could be Sortino ratio, sharp ratio, depending on your goals. So max net profit. And then we want, this is a day trading strategy. So I'm pretty sure we want exit on session close, which is right here where my mouse is. And that sells at 4 PM. If it's still in a position, basically a day trading system, make sure we include in slippage, include commissions. Okay, that should be good. And I'll change the start date to, let's do 2008. So just to recap, what it's going to do is it's going to optimize for 730 days, which is two years, um, and then test for 365 days, which is one year, right? And then it's going to move, it's going to shift forward. And that previous 365 days, which was test a test period now becomes in sample or an optimization period. I'll hit run and I'll, um, you'll better understand it. And then, it, yeah, it's going to optimize the profit target gap down and gap up amounts. Okay. So let's hit run. It's gonna, it's, and it's doing it for NQ and ES futures. So NASDAQ and S and P 500 futures, and then give us the results. All right, so the walk forward results optimization have finished and we have the results now. Um, it ran for ES and NQ individually. I'll just focus on NQ for now. So overall, since 2008, it made $54,000 in net profit with one contract. This is one e-mini contract. And um, you can see each year the performance, right? So the first year was pretty much 2010, right? Because it optimized the first two years because our optimization period is 730 days, right? So 2008, 2009 were optimization periods and the test period was 2010. And the first year it lost $1,800. So it did not perform out of sample. The next year it made money, right? So then it, it did now from 2009 to 2010 was the optimization period. And now 2011 is a test period and so on and so forth. So you can see that um, this gap reversal strategy overall as a whole is performing out of sample and doing decently. Unfortunately, this year it's not doing well, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, I started this strategy about last year, so it was doing well last year. Um, but every year, you know, it's not gonna make money every year. There's no guarantee. And that's why you build a portfolio and not rely on one strategy um, for great trading systems, right? I never recommend just running one trading system live. You want to run, you know, three to five tra different trading systems to benefit from diversification. Um, but yeah, this is a walk forward optimization in the Ninja Trader platform, and it's going to help you gain confidence um, when you're running a trading algorithm live that there's actually, you know, it's performing robustly. Um, some things I wanted to note and show you guys is that um, each year, right, the, the parameters are going to change. So on the right here, under our strategy parameters, in the parentheses is the value that it shows for that year. Okay, so right now I have 2012 selected, and it's 
chosen as a profit target $2,000, the gap down was 1% and the gap up was 0.5%. But if I change to the next year, if I do 2013, you can see that the profit target went up to 2,500. It changed, right? It's not the same. If I go to the next year, you know, both now the gap down and profit target changed. So you can see that it's sort of smart and sort of a, you know, I guess you could say it is machine learning because it's taking previous data and constantly updating. And that's what trading's life. When you when you run it live, you're getting new unforeseen data. And when your when that data hits your trading system, your trading bots, you want to be as confident as possible that it can handle that new data and hopefully make you a return. And that's what walk forward optimization helps you do. A lot of trading algorithms, when you're testing them and building them, and you run a walk forward optimization, you'll find a lot of them will fail. They'll, they'll run and they'll just be, you'll see a sea of red, right? Will not make money each year or overall and um, not perform. Uh, this is the overall result. So when you select an in trader, when you select this top line, this top row, that's the combined result. So it combines all of them and adds them up. Um, so you can see that um, this, you know, overall since 2008, it made uh, 54,000 in net profit. Some things to note that, you know, 2020 and 2021 were a lot of bulk of the profits, right? Beforehand, I mean, if I quickly add this up, even before 2020, it would have made money, nothing crazy, but I guess it would have been somewhat barely profitable, I guess. But, um, you know, that that is concerning that it made a lot of money those two years. And, and this year, it hasn't performed, unfortunately. But, um, you know, you can go deeper into walk forward optimizations. And, you know, you'll notice that so you'll have some some crazy years where a lot of the profits will be in one year and not the other. Like if if this NQ walk forward optimization only made money in 2020, made a lot of money, and then every other year it lost, um, I'd be concerned a little bit. It was up prior, but obviously it didn't do too well. So, um, you know, going forward, when you're building trading algorithms, you know, I want you to use walk forward optimization to test the robustness. Now, say you wanted to run this algorithm live, right? Or at least run it in a SIM account. What would you do next, right? You've run the walk forward optimization. What would you do next? So what I would do is I would select the most recent, um, basically the most recent iteration, which is this one, right? It'd be 2022. And it's going to tell you the parameters. So the parameters for this year um, were 2,500 profit target, gap down of 2% and gap up 0.5. So that's what I would use when I'm running it live. I would plug in those parameters. Um, even more, what you could do is you can um, basically right click this and open a new tab and then save it as a template in NinjaTrader. So you could hit template save and then you'll have the, um, the template. So you can see I already have a template here, current 2022 opt. Um, and that way, when you run it live, you just run that template and it will preload your profit target, your gap down and your gap up amount, right? So that's how you would essentially run a walk forward optimization in NinjaTrader. Like I said, this is available in a lot of other platforms, not only NinjaTrader. Um, so it's a comp walk forward optimization analysis is just a common good practice when it comes to testing uh, models, trading systems with the new unforeseen data. Okay, so I hope you guys found value in this video. Let me know in the comments below. If you're going to be using walk forward optimization, I mean, you better, you better be like, this is one of the critical pillars of building great trading systems. There's a lot more pillars and you can find those uh, in my course below, but this is one of the good pillars to build great trading systems. And I definitely recommend anyone watching uh, to use walk forward optimization when building trading systems and testing portfolios. Anyways, that's the video guys. We'll see you next week.